Coming up, the musician who lost a friend and fellow band member. He'll tell us what happened and he's going to sing his hit song about the pokies for us in just a minute. Tonight we're talking about our national addiction to poker machines and uh, Tim Friedman from the Whitlams. You're very passionate about this issue, I know. Why? I started becoming passionately uh, opposed to poker machines in the mid-90s when they started appearing in the pubs of New South Wales. First of all, they destroyed the atmosphere in a lot of the places I like to visit and work. And uh, second of all, uh, they destroyed the lives of five close friends who uh, either had to start their lives uh, from very close to the bottom or indeed end their lives. Now, how many of your friends actually ended their lives? You have one particular friend and a bandmate who, who did. Uh, yeah, I've had one of them uh, committed suicide and uh, four of them were very close. So I find it very easy to believe that 30% of people that touch poker machines end up with problems uh, from my own experience in um, the pubs of New South Wales. Uh, in particular, my band member was a lovely, funny, sensitive, talented fellow called Andy Lewis. He was in the Whitlams. He started the band with me and he was in the band until uh, 1996 uh, when he left. Uh, and uh, I noticed that he was having trouble getting ahead because he was always uh, putting his wages into poker machines. And in uh, 1999, I wrote a song which was inspired by him uh, called uh, Blow Up the Pokies. Um, a year later, um, I was overseas at the time, I found out that Andy had uh, been working all week in a, in a, in a, in a factory and had been on his way home to his partner and his, uh, his child and had dropped into the pub. And uh, a few hours later, he must have got into the zone that everyone talks about. His week's wages were gone. And uh, the next day he was found, uh, um, he'd hung himself back at the work o overnight. And that's the sort of sad, dark story behind that song. It's, it's something that happened after the song was written, but uh, it's, uh, it's all too common in, in this country. You're going to play the song for us. Come, come across to the piano because I'd like uh, I'd like you to play it because I think it's, it's very interesting and it captures a lot of the passion that you've been describing that you feel for the issue. There was a stage Two red lights and a dodgy PA You trod the planks way back then And it's strange that you're here again Here again and I wish I, wish I knew the right words To make you feel better to walk out of this place Defeat them in your secret battle Show them you can be your own man again Don't, don't explain Lots of little victories take on the pain It takes so long to earn You can double up or you can burn You can burn And I wish I, wish I knew the right words To blow up the pokies and drag them away They're taking the food off your table so they can say that the trains run on time Another man there was made the trains run on time Thank you very much for playing that. It was um, very difficult actually after telling that story. Yeah, I bet it was. I can see that you're pretty emotional about it. That song was a really big hit, Tim. How did people react to you after you'd written it? What, what sort of response did you get? Well, I've travelled around the country for eight years since it was released playing it, and I'd say one every five gigs, someone comes up to me at the end of the show and says, oh, mate, thanks for writing that song. I was, I was on the bottom, and my wife made me listen to it, and I started crying, and, and now we've actually got a television and a microwave, and we're, we're off the bottom of the heap. Um, but they're only the... They're only the sort of happy stories. There's plenty of stories where um, people haven't managed to get up off the bottom of the heap after coming into contact with these um, tax gatherers. Hmm. 